Oh, at four, a 61 year old woman is rescued by a good Samaritan during a dog attack in Philadelphia's Fern Rock neighborhood. It all happened right outside his home. It's Tuesday afternoon, rather Thursday afternoon. I'm Brian Taff and I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is a dog attack that left a woman badly injured and hospitalized. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson spoke to the neighbor who sprang into action to help her. She's now live in Fern Rock and Sharifa, you've got the details. Yeah, Brian, Sarah, this is the alley where that woman was viciously attacked outside of her home as well. Neighbors say that she was on the ground. She was bleeding out, trying to fight off those dogs. When her neighbor with a legal gun stepped in, he tells us when he saw and heard what was happening, he had no other choice. I jumped up, took off my pajamas, put my clothes on, grabbed my firearm, and went down. There was no thinking, just adrenaline. The cries for help in Fern Rock woke up this neighbor as a woman was attacked by a dog in the alley behind his home. He did not want his face shown on camera, but describes the moment he jumped into action. When I seen the dogs actively attacking the woman. I one round at the dogs, it was two of them. I mean, once I fired the, the weapon, both dogs dispersed. Um, I dialed 911 and I started first aid. It all unfolded around 10.30 a.m. in this alleyway on the 5700 block of North Park Avenue. Philadelphia police say a 61-year-old woman was attacked by a pit bull and suffered several bite marks throughout her body. Our cameras were there as one of the dogs was taken away in a police vehicle to an animal hospital. The second dog still in this backyard. I passed by there and I see about two or three right at this fence, right at the corner. Valentine says he heard the screams, the barking, and the single gunshot. I was outside. So I stay outside and kind of see it until I hear it, 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 no more barking. After the gunshot, I hear no more barking. Still shaking over what happened, the neighbor with his legally owned gun says he was forced to shoot. If I wouldn't have intervened, I believe those dogs would have, you know, it would have been mortal. 